My name is Steve Shearing. I own the Amsoil Snowcross race team. We've taken the Amsoil products to the extremes and they've delivered every single time. Last race of the season at Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, one of our drivers was out in front, got rear-ended, broke the heat exchanger, we lost all our coolant the second lap of the 15 lap main event. Our driver was able to finish a race in a top five position with the motor still running. The good thing about the Amsoil products, it, it's so constant. You know, we have the exact same performance results time after time after time. For more than a decade, we've been winners with Amsoil. Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, and we are here at ERX Motor Park down in the pits where it's all things snowmobile and snowmobile racing. Now, earlier today, we had the chance to take along with Levi LaValle, Dan Ebert, and Paul Bowerly as they signed a few autographs and taught us local folks how to become even better riders. Take a look. Before the checkered flag, before the roaring crowds and corporate sponsors, these professional snowcross racers had to start somewhere. And for the next generation of snowcross racers, that somewhere starts here at the ERX Motor Park in Elk River, Minnesota. Well, today we're having our first ever snowcross clinic. It's designed for young kids. We've got 30 kids out here, and we have some of the top pros in the nation out here teaching them. We got Levi LaValle, Dan Ebert, Matt Judnick, They've all volunteered their time to come out here, spend some time with the kids and get kids, more people involved in the sport of snowcross. From hole shots to tricky turns, straightaways to safety, these aspiring young sled heads got their chance to learn from the pros. Professional snowcross racers Levi LaValle, Dan Ebert, and Paul Bowerly worked with these students all day, instructing them on the do's and don'ts of snowcross racing. I'm going to start out with you guys, you'll do left-handers, but then um, I'll demonstrate for you guys, but when we do a right-hander... So now how is it for you to give back, so to speak, with giving the, the young kids all your knowledge and information that you've acquired over the years? Oh, it's awesome. You know, uh, to be able to put something on like this and get invited is just cool because I remember, you know, I was just just uh, talking to one of my buddies there. It's just uh, wasn't long ago when I was up there doing the corners like that. I was just a young kid, and uh, it's cool to be able to get back. I feel like the kids are really learning a lot, and um, it's really fun, really exciting to see kids growing and learning in this. You know, the, the, the guys that are young, they just don't have the seat time. So it's really, you know, to get to uh, to the next level, you just got to keep riding and, and you have to put your sled in every position, you know, that you can. Any kind of situation that you can find, you got to, you know, you have to go through it and see, uh, see how the sled reacts, see how you react. After a while, you start figuring out, you go, okay, well, I can't go and wheelie into that bump because it's going to send me over the bars. And that's just the biggest thing is just getting seat time for these kids. We can help a little bit with technique and stuff and kind of accelerate that process, which is awesome. And, and you know, hopefully it makes it for safer riding and, and better riders at the end. We've got people here as far away as from Manitoba, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Iowa, plus a bunch of people from Minnesota as well. So are these kids doing it for fun or do they want to be pro snowcross racers one day? I think it's a mixture, you know, some of them just want to become better riders and they, and they like to race part time. Some of them, have, you know, aspire to be pros. Um, so they're learning from the best, frankly. So it's a mixture. We're just trying to have fun with them. We're also having a session off the track as well. We're teaching some good values off the track mentally to be a good rider, to be a good person, to be a good person off the track, better representation for your sponsors, to be a better role model to other kids. And what did the students think of this snowcross clinic? It was pretty good. I don't know. We're just practicing turns in the whoop rhythm section. Um, I don't know. Do you feel like you've learned a lot today so far? I have actually. I have like staying out to the outside of the sled and the turns and just rolling over the whoops. So being fast. Now you look bad to the bone. Was it pretty cool out there? Yeah. What did you learn? Um, that you're supposed to look straight around the corners, you're supposed to look down the track. But I'm sure getting tips from the likes of Levi LaValle, that's not every day. No, absolutely. I mean, you kind of have an idea what to do, but you're getting tips from the best guys in the world. I mean, hard to beat that. We're learning how to do starts, corners, rhythms, do a little faster on the track from the pros. Now, is this stuff you already knew, or is this brand new technology? Um, this is all my second year, so some of it's new, and I knew some of it, so it's, I don't know. And how is it having Levi and Ebert and Bowerly as your teachers? It's uh, pretty cool. Like I went through the rhythm pretty fast, and Levi stopped me, and I thought he's going to give me a tip, but he said, that was perfect. That looked really good. So I was like, sweet. 
them. The little guys, they got tons of heart and they just go out there and do their best. And the best part is they got a smile on their face, they're having fun. That's what snowmobiling's about. These little kids, they try really hard and I think that's it's their dream someday. I think um, I was in their shoes uh, probably 15 years ago and, mm -hmm. and uh, wanted to be a pro rider someday. And uh, it's it's a really cool job to have those kids look up and look up to you and uh, be able to teach them what I've learned. So keep a close eye on these kids because you never know who might be the next Levi LaValley, TJ Gula, or Tucker Hibbert. For more information on how to improve your riding performance, log on to erxmotorpark.com. We'll be right back.